Hello and welcome to the webinar What Makes Short Stories Tick? I am Falco Mubius. I'm the founder and director of Mubius Coaching and a branch of called Writer's Dream Coach, where I coach writers and business people on creating stories, on writing well, and on running their own business because even writing is a business nowadays. Now, let's get started here. You are probably going to watch the recording, which is fine. <laughs> I'll just take you through the whole thing and um, I'll give you a link at the end to give you some more information because I really hope that you want to go deeper into creating stories that either sell your work or sell your products and services. So let's go to the next to the next slide. This is about telling stories. Telling stories is a very basic human need and activity. It is sort of in our genes. I mean, have you ever experienced sitting around a campfire and um, just talking? telling about things that you experienced, talking about with others about things they experienced, that is how we connect with others. It is so fundamental to our lives that most people don't even think about what um, storytelling actually is. But that is <clears throat> totally how we connect with others. And this connection is actually the basis of a new kind of marketing that goes away from push marketing into pull marketing, where we simply offer. We don't push it on people, we offer what we have. We tell stories about what we can do, and this connects us with our clients, our customers, and our readers. And that's the basis of really good marketing. Now, in order to connect, we have to offer a connecting point. And in storytelling terms and writing terms, that connecting point is the protagonist. And um, quite simply, the protagonist is the guy you need to know well because basically, or she, is the hook to the heart of your audience. Your protagonists, or heroes, or main characters, flaws, and problems, and struggles, they will make them connect to this person. They are what we can relate to as readers, and clients, and customers. And in terms of marketing, that's why the protagonist should resemble your ideal client. You can see that this is an important kind of step in your business, creating or figuring out who's your ideal client. <coughs> and turn this ideal client into a protagonist. Now, for writers, um, it is very similar. Your protagonist should appeal to your target audience. So, for example, if you're writing for young adults, your main character should be a young adult, preferably a couple of years older than your target audience because um, it is always said that teens kind of like to look up to people who are a little further along in their growth, in their experiences. So um, I have a protagonist for you and this is Mr. MC Hero and MC is a knight. As you can easily see, he has a shield and a sword. And we will now move into what Mr. Hero, Sir Hero, as I like to call him, <laughs> what Sir Hero has to deal with. He is my story's protagonist. This is an analogy. This is where I'm having fun. So, and I love writing fantasy as a writer. So, hey, you get Sir Hero. Sir Hero has a problem, and that is embodied by the antagonist. Oops. <laughs> the antagonist. The antagonist is 
the second must-have element in your story. And the antagonist embodies what your hero struggles against. And this story's antagonist is, as you can see, a stick dragon. <laughs> and I'm calling him Righteous Block because let's assume that Sir Hero is a writer in his heart. And all he really wants to do is to write, but he's up against an invincible dragon. And this dragon is his Righteous Block. And if you're a writer and you have experienced Righteous Block, oh my goodness, you know how horrible it is to battle this enemy, this antagonist. <clears throat> and, oh, frick. I don't know what that did, but. I need to fix that. Hang on. Um, let's see if that fixed it. There we go. So, for writers, here's a big point about the antagonist. The antagonist is, of course, the villain of the story. And you may or may not know that for most of the story, the villain actually drives the action. The villain does what he does. Our dragon, Artist Block, is just sitting there making life hard for Sir Hero. And in a bigger story, the villain is the one who has the action power. The hero is the reacting person in, in the story. So you need to know the antagonist fairly well as, as well. And for marketers, the antagonist is also a very important element. <clears throat> the antagonist is the pain point of your client or customer. It is what your ideal client or ideal customer really wants to change. It's that big pain, this big thorn in their side. And you need to speak to that pain in your story. Now, the third essential element is obviously the conflict and struggle between your protagonist and your antagonist, between Sir Hero and the dragon called Righteous Block. That element is so essential because it creates the tension in your story. It creates the interest. It creates the, the, the driving force. Those two are clashing. And struggle is pain over time. As you can see, Sir Hero is fighting the dragon and over time he's not winning. Dragons are pretty strong, and their scales, well, they don't yield easily to a sword. So you have the struggle, and writers, you can talk to your reader's pain. I mean, who can relate to Sir Hero? We all have times in our lives where we struggle and struggle and struggle and feel bad and feel the pain of not getting anywhere. And originally, I wanted to show you lots of pictures of Sir Hero fighting the dragon and you know changing the color of his shield and trying out to try out a horse and trying out a lance and, and doing all this. <coughs> and this would be part of a story. How many uh, how many attempts Sir Hero makes to slay that dragon to finally get past that dragon that's blocking him from his dreams and goals and life purpose. That's, um, that's the struggle, that's the pain, that's the conflict, and you need that in any, any story. Now, this struggle will go on forever without the fourth element. And the fourth element is transformation. Transformation is the thing that really, really want, that really, really brings readers into your fold, that really brings the clients into wanting to work with you. The transformation is the main turning, turning point of the story for the writers, especially if you think of a short story. The transformation is the that point in the story where the hero is down and out. And I could have created a picture of Sir Hero flat on his face, the dragon on top of him. It, 
the hero is down and out, done with, lowest point of his life. And for marketers and for writers, the transformation is essential. It makes or breaks the story. The transformation is what gets Sir Hero back on his feet and um, being transformed. And for marketers, this transformation is exactly what you offer. It is the change that you provide. And this transformation can come from within, which is what many short stories tell. The transformation, the hero grows, the hero overcomes his fears, um, the heroine discovers her ability to act and take action herself, for example. But the transformation can also come from the outside with a bit of help. And in my little story here, <laughs> we have a little witch, and I forgot to give her a name. This little witch is called Mrs. EFT. <laughs> because it's my story. And Mrs. EFT helps Sir Hero to transform. And either way, either way the transformation comes about, from outside or from the inside, the protagonist grows and develops new abilities. Let's assume that, in this case, with the help of Mrs. EFT, Sir Hero overcame his fear and loathing of the dragon. He developed a new ability to go with the flow, to deal with the dragon, and to actually work with him. And this leads us to the final element, its resolution. As you can see, Sir Hero and the dragon have made peace. They're sitting together quite happily. They're telling each other stories, possibly. <laughs> And the resolution is the final part of the story, and it is what you offer as a marketer. You offer a resolution, the transformation and the resulting resolution. And this is the fifth and final element of stories. And if you have those five elements together in a story, this story has all the bones it needs to, to entertain, to bring a flow, to connect with people, to fascinate people, and to create an emotional approach to things. And that is what you really want to do. Now, a resolution means the readers can relax and be happy. I mean, happily ever after is something people like to hear. Um, no matter what all those zombie stories, those horror stories, no matter about the literary stories where it's all doom and gloom. Honestly, I can tell you most readers read a story, a book, to relax, and they want to feel good at the end of the story. And they want to know that they can pick up the next book by you and enjoy it and be secure in knowing that there will be a good ending, a fitting ending. Yes, I've, I've killed characters in my stories, but that was part of the resolution in that case. One of my main heroes dies at the end of the story, but she dies in peace. She has found resolution, so it is a fitting ending for the whole story. And she has done things that were so horrible that her death wasn't exactly... Um, it was warranted. So it all fit. So even if you have a sad ending, it could have a resolution. And um, that is important for people, so they can relax and know they won't be whacked over the head by deaths left and right. For marketers, the resolution is how is what your, your clients get the results. And they're quite often soft results like feeling better, feeling more secure, no longer being plagued by fears. It's the way they feel after working with you. And it's important to keep in mind that you have to provide this resolution. You have to provide the feel-good part because that is what you offer in your story. That is what you promise to deliver 
and uh, it is so important to to make your clients to make your customers feel valued and good and and get away from your inter the interaction with you feeling good feeling satisfied feeling happy feeling recognized so the resolution is a really important part of the whole story and um, you can't just let people hanging after the transformation some people forget that so that, that's why I'm harping on this point but <laughs> um, you need the resolution and now that you know the five elements and you can just watch I mean this is a short webinar it's not rocket science now that you know the five elements you can start writing your own compelling story because you have the protagonist, the antagonist, you have the conflict, you have the transformation, and you have the resolution. And knowing that, you will do a whole lot better than many beginning writers, than many marketers who never considered the elements of the story they want to tell in order to make their clients interested in connecting. It is really important, even writing copy for a website is basically storytelling. Now, <coughs> if you want to like some help with that, um, I'm going to offer you a fantastic opportunity, a short story workshop. Actually, <laughs> I, I changed the name setting this all up and I forgot to change it in my presentation. It's called the Storytelling Workshop because that's much closer to what we're going to do. The, the Storytelling Workshop. And I have three variants of that workshop. And um, I'm hiding the third one because it's just so incredibly good. Let's start at the beginning. This workshop is very basic. It's four weeks of emails for writing your story. And then you're going to get a lot of emails and a lot of exercises. And I'm offering you a safe forum to discuss your work. And let me just say a few words about this. It is not a Facebook group. You will have to register for this forum in addition to buying the workshop. Yes, it's a paid for workshop. You will have to register with the web, with the message board provider. It's, they're called Runboard. They've been around for a decade and longer. And they are safe because they respect copyright. You may or may not know that if you post things on Facebook, you grant Facebook an unlimited worldwide license to use your content in any way they see fit. So I would not ever post stories on Facebook. And since we are going to work with the stories we're going to develop in this forum, um, you will have to post your work. That is why I offer this extra safe place. Then there is the plus version. And the plus version is two more weeks, two additional weeks with emails to guide you through the editing process. The process of taking the story you've written and really making it flow, making it smooth, um, sort of polishing out any plot wrinkles you have, uh, straightening the whole language in there. I mean, let aside uh, fixing typos, but uh, editing is much more than proofreading. Editing is really getting down into the story into the nitty-gritty and making it not only work but making it shine. Again you have a safe forum to get help with the editing. There will be group interaction and I will be on the forum myself. I will watch things, I will be around, um, but I won't help you a whole lot with the editing except in guiding you through the process because, because I have a very special offer. I have an offer that I have restricted. There are only 10, 10 spaces for that because it involves me 
and that is my VIP class. Because in those two editing weeks, I will personally edit your stories, and I will give you feedback twice. Which means you're sending me the story, I will go through it with a red marker. <laughs> Actually, I will use um, track changes <laughs> in my word processor. Um, but yes, I will go through it with a marker. I will suggest things. You get the chance to fix whatever I marked, and I will go through it again and mark it one more time. So, you have two editing passes by me personally. And let me tell you, I have edited stories. I know what I'm doing, and I can really, really help you to make that, show, that story work. And as a huge bonus, and it's, this is something only my VIP class will get, because we're going to work on those stories really, really hard. I will consider your VIP stories for publication in an anthology I'll create. This is going to be an ebook. It's going to be a print-on-demand book. It's going to be up on Amazon. I will be the publisher, and this is not vanity publishing. If you buy the VIP class, it is not guaranteed that your story will be in there. It will depend on your work. And just so that you are not saying, eh, Brock is just trying to get rich with our stories. Nope. I chose a charity that supports a national park here. In Germany. It's a beautiful area. I've been there many, many times. I've spent many wonderful days there. It's the Hearts National Park. That is a... It's a mountain area, the Hearts Mountains, in the middle of Germany. And it's a national park. It has been for about 20... No, I think... Well, possibly 20 years. They have rangers, they have everything. And they take donations and I will give you feedback publicly through Facebook and my newsletters how much that anthology, I mean, this is really like in the future, I mean, you know, don't, don't count your chickens before they're hatched because I don't know if we can actually create this anthology, but in case this anthology comes alive with your work, with your precious, wonderful story diamonds, I will donate any royalties that come out of that to charity. And I will donate the formatting services from my own pockets. I promise that. So this is the biggest, most valuable package that I'm going to offer the VIP class. And do you want to see where that happens? <laughs> Go to the end of the webinar. And go to the sign up page. It's <laughs> it's on righteousdreamcoach.com. It's called Storytelling Workshop. You will find it there. And this hangout will send you out <laughs> to the sign up page. I do apologize. This is imperfect action. <laughs> For heaven's sake, I am sorry. Writersdreamcoach.com in one word without the hyphen. Because that's just a forbidden um, character in, in internet um, markup language. Writersdream.com, the storytelling workshop. <laughs> the page will be up there as soon as I end this hangout. And um, that's it. <laughs>